National University. Everything that I have, I, I can clearly say that I owe it to them. As long as you put in the work, all the professors are understanding that we are all um, working professionals. Not only do they want you to be successful, they're on you to make sure you are successful. I feel like I'm in the right university that's showcasing you know, a lot of students that you know, come from uh, diverse backgrounds, but they're also setting them up to be successful. I had no, no other options. I, I saw no failure. I just saw success giving all the tools that I got from National University. I'm originally from Mexico, a um, small town in Puebla, Mexico. I was raised in East LA and eventually moved to Fontana, California. Growing up for me, it was good. Despite being in a rough environment, my mom knew all along the environment we were in we were becoming the same product of the environment. So she knew exactly what to do. She saved up enough money in, the, in her business she was running and she bought a house okay. in Fontana. Just my community itself, where, where I grew up in East LA, you wouldn't really hear much about it. So-and-so graduated, got accepted to here or there. You, you wouldn't hear that much. I am the first male in my family to graduate high school and the first to actually obtain a certificate from Chaffee Community College. I remember when I grabbed that certificate, it was mailed to me. I looked at it and I was like, hmm. I can actually do it, right? I can do this, like, I can continue on my education. I went online and I did an intensive search. I looked up so many schools and kept seeing National University. The first scholarship that I received was for the NU Scholar Scholarship, which pretty much covered my bachelor's full tuition and it also covered for my books. I applied for it. I was in class, and my phone rang, and then I was like so excited. I went outside in the hallway, and I was like, yeah! During the scholarship uh, presentation, there was a doctor speaking, started making a couple comments, and I was like, wait, is he talking about me? It's my privilege to designate Mr. Pedro Aguilar. Ah. I almost started crying, I put my head down, I couldn't believe it. They granted me the uh, Psychiatric NP um, Program Scholarship. It was pretty much a full-ride scholarship. It covered for, for all my books and tuition. And I was able to cover everything, so I really just had to, you know, cover the basics. If I go to the traditional route, I'm gonna be like 40 years old and just barely finishing my schooling, right? Especially with a busy schedule, being a, a working professional, you don't have a lot of downtime, you know, and the little time that you do have, you want to spend it with your family. My experience since from the beginning was they're giving you their platform to be able to showcase who you are and what you are doing in the community. Because a part of that was also, you know, me working in the community doing things that I was already doing, which is giving back. Uh, currently, I'm a field RN. I work for a home health company that's based out of Rosemead, California. This is what I was put in this world to do, um, to give back to the people that at one point paved the way for me to be here. So it is my responsibility to give back. I was originally gonna get a master's in social work, but I also fell in love with the aspect of mental health. Without mental health, you're not gonna be able to provide for anybody in your family. You're not gonna be able to do anything. It's like the, the core of your whole body. Now that I know this much information and I have the degrees, I feel that it is now my opportunity to make sure that everybody is aware. You, you have the tools to be able to become successful. Que yo recuerde, la casa solo lo, la usaba como hotel, me iba uh, temprano, uh, llegaba tarde, y para ti nunca, nunca hubo, no, no nunca fue, tuvo, no hubo excusas. y me siento feliz. Pues estoy aquí por ti, y qué bueno que es mi reflexión. Pues yo también me siento igualmente feliz por estar tú <laughs> logrando todo lo que quieres. Estamos empezando. It does become overwhelming because to get a bachelor's in the state of California, it's expensive. 
and I would put my, my whole life in, in pause. If I didn't have the scholarship for NU, I don't think I would be right now pursuing a psychiatric NP, that's for sure. Um, I would probably be focused on repaying the loan. I wouldn't have pursued a higher education. If I didn't have it, I wouldn't be where I am today.